imbalances are something we're all going to have to deal with at some point or another. Some of us have had imbalances since growing up, others have developed them through bad training mechanics, injuries, compensations can often happen, especially when we're training on a regular basis over a long period of time. The issues with this is the fact that if we have a slight injury that develops compensation over time, we tend to feel normal in that compensation state. So you can be cockeyed, lopsided, twisting off to the left, but to you it'll feel normal and it'll feel straight. Here's a really simple trick that you can implement on presses and pulls to help you naturally bring that balance back into line. We make the recording. Okay. I'm gonna show you on a classic press. Obviously I put on a bit of an incline just so you guys can see it, but it applies flat incline. It's also gonna be able to be adapted in any motion where you can really concentrate on what I'm gonna tell you. Now for me, here's the thing. I got injured on the left shoulder. So what that caused was my trap to come in in terms of work. So what that did, was pull my shoulder up towards my neck, put me off balance this way. Now, a really good way to know this is if when you're wearing a vest, one of your little stringity, strappity bits here, if one of them is constantly sliding down or off in a different direction and not staying straight, that's usually a sign that you're off kilter. On the weaker side, and a lot of people see this, when you get to the top of the rep, it'd wanna snap back down. So you get this kind of snap motion on one side, and what that ends up doing then is making that side travel faster down towards that base of the negative than your strong side. Now the way we're gonna stop this is really simple, but really effective. You are going to follow your strong side up with the weak side, but on the negative, you're gonna follow the weak side down. So that way, we're automatically going to be rebalancing that issue of having a snap at the top, of having that snap at the top, and also having that faster descent. So it looks a little bit like this. Obviously, we're going to make sure that everything's in place as it should be with our feet planted, glutes engaged. We're going to drive to the top of the rep. Okay, so from here, I am going to follow the weaker side, the left side, down with the stronger side. And what that does is it makes me focus on that weaker left side and keep it tracking with the strong side. Now, with this weaker side, I'm gonna chase the strong side up. So I'm gonna keep a pace with that strong side. But what it's gonna do at the top of the rep is make sure that I don't do this, which I get to the top and I wanna snap it down because that's what the injured side and compensating side is gonna to wanna to do because it doesn't wanna hold that load at the top. If we chase that strong side up, that strong side is going to stop naturally and get a good contraction. And if we're focusing on that with the left side, the weaker side, it will naturally do the same and stop snapping back down. So on the negative, we chase the strong. And on the positive, we chase the weak. You end up with a nice strict motion rather than this snap and imbalanced drop and descend. I think I just broke my phone. Now, if your issue lies on pulling motions, this same rule can apply, which I'll just quickly show you on the lat pull down. So let's again assume that my left side is either hitching, not pulling in, disengaging, compared to my stronger side, or maybe you just got one side that feels weak than the other, or it's just not feeling as balanced or engaged. Same thing will apply. Then obviously don't do it like I'm doing it backwards. There's no need to do this, don't be that guy. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow the weaker side down, squeeze, and then on the way back up, I'm gonna chase the stronger side of the weaker side. So the same thing applies. What I'm gonna do, that's gonna stop us twisting off, that's gonna stop us kind of ending with this imbalance. This is gonna give you the focus at the right parts of each movement to be able to maintain that concentration on the weaker side and not shift over as you've mechanically trained yourself towards that dominant side. And plus, if you're not focusing on that weakness and allowing the dominating side to do more of the work, you're gonna naturally twist off on all different kinds of movements. Try this and I promise you, I promise you, you will feel a difference. You'll also feel where the body's starting to unsettle and you'll find the points where it suddenly gets harder to hold that weight out of contraction point or pull it in at a contraction point because the body hasn't been used to doing it. That's what compensation does and that's what imbalance does. It shifts the body out of the area of work that you wanna put it in that it doesn't wanna be in. So there you go, a simple fix for something that can really drive you crazy. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments section any particular body parts you want me to have a look at, any particular movements that you want me to check out, and I'll see if I can get a quick fix for you guys, but you've got to let me know the problem as well. If you like the clothing, it's Gymshark. If you like the way I look, that's just me, so subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Boom, baby. This is